Good evening guys, I'm Jay Sterling of Sterling Ascots and I want to welcome you back to the sewing room. Today I want to talk to you about uh, tying the silk ascot. You know, the last video that we made we really focused on tying the microfiber ascot um, and mainly it was because we had a lot of people who were uh, new to the ascot market. Uh, we had a lot of beginners who, you know, maybe was their first time tying ascots, and it seemed to be a very helpful video. Uh, now that we've been open for about two years now, we're going on two years this year, um, and we've made our rounds on ESPN, um, Yes Network, uh, Ebony Magazine. Um, you know, I feel like it's time maybe to get everybody into uh, the silk ascots because, of course, if you see people wearing ascots on the street whether it be here in America or in Europe, chances are it's a silk ascot. Uh, so let's get into how to tie the silk ascot. And the way I'm going to teach you how to tie the silk ascot today is going to be similar to tying a dress tie, uh, the foreign hand technique. And basically we're going to make a knot and then of course make the loop over the knot so that we can fluff it out. This way the ascot does not fall into your shirt as the night progresses. So this is going to be a, a technique that we're going to use where it, you may only have to check on it maybe once for the night and this is for the silk. You can also use it on the microfiber as well um, but like I said this is more for the silk ascots. So let's go ahead and get into it. First we're going to start with the left hand a little lower than the right hand. Now it doesn't really matter whether you go left hand or right hand, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm right handed so I prefer to use the left side a little lower than the right side. But if you're, you know, if you're left handed, you could do it vice versa, it doesn't really matter. Depending on who you talk to, they'll, they'll say otherwise, but it doesn't matter between me and you. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start and we're going to go left over right once. And we're going to go underneath and then left over right again for a second time and depending on the size of your neck you may want to go a third time it depends uh, but I like to go two sometimes I go three depending on the length of the ascot and what we're going to do here is we're going to go underneath with the loop and we're going to get it nice and tight right there and you're going to see how it is right there we're going to go ahead and reach for the loop that we made on the second go around put our finger through it and we're going to simply go ahead and stuff the ascot through the loop and down. And this will make our knot. Now, don't worry about the way the knot looks or anything like that because we're going to cover the knot. We're going to cover the knot and we're going to make everything look good. Now, at this point, the, the back part of the ascot should be longer than the front part. And this is good because what we're going to end up doing is taking the back part like this and going and forcing it through the very back of the knot against your neck pulling it through and over. What this will do here is this will cover the current knot and you can be able to fluff it out and put it in your shirt. And this will give the ascot a little bit of body, a more fluff and you can tie it um, like that, you can do one tie, like I said, two, two loops around, three loops around, doesn't really matter. Um, you can go one button or two buttons. I prefer two because of the beard, as you guys know from the first video. Um, and sometimes on the third button, I, I may do if I feel, you know, I'm feeling good. But in this, in this case, today, we're just going to go two buttons. And we're going to make sure it's good. And trust me, guys, trust me. Your ascot will look good the whole night. You won't have to worry about it. And like I said, if you want, you can go to the bathroom one time, maybe twice. Just take a look at it, make sure your, everything is in place. But otherwise, that's it. Uh, you know, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm going to have more videos coming out, more behind the scenes footage of our shoots. Thank you very much for joining me.